That's the sound of a woodpecker banging its head into a tree at a remarkable 20 times per second. A woodpecker pecks about 12,000 times a day. Each blow is equivalent to going 15 miles per hour into a wall face first. Which begs the question, why don't woodpeckers get concussions? Or at least a headache? This is one of the questions that Alan St. John and I wanted to understand when we were writing Newton's Football. And we found three things. Around a human brain is a fluid. This fluid is called a cerebral spinal fluid. And woodpeckers don't have very much of this fluid around their brains. Their brains are tightly packed within the skull, giving it little opportunity for it to bang in the inside of the skull. Second, the orientation of the woodpecker's brain is also key. Their brain is tilted 90 degrees, which allows the impact to be spread over a large area. Lastly, a woodpecker's brain is very small. Uh, this is why being called a bird brain is an insult. A woodpecker's brain weighs about two grams. Two grams is about the weight of two paper clips. A human brain is about 1,400 grams, or 1,400 paper clips. Lighter brains are able to withstand much, much more. Scientists would call this a scaling factor. And we experience this all the time. This is why your cell phone can survive being dropped from a table, but your laptop cannot. We unfortunately have big brains that are covered in fluid, which is why we get concussions and woodpeckers don't. Learn more about the science behind America's game with Newton's Football, which is available in most bookstores.